Yeah, how's it going everybody? This is Jose Trujillo. Welcome to another Mindset Monday. Mindset Monday. Where we talk about keeping your mindset right. As artists, as entrepreneurs, your career, whatever, however you look at it. Whether you're trying to learn how to create artwork or you're trying to get it into the market. Whatever you're trying to do. Today... We talk about mindset, having the right mindset, okay? Let me just get situated here. Oh, yes, I found it. <laughs> mm. All right. Grab your best beverage, your cup of coffee, your, I don't know what you drink. Hopefully something tasty. <laughs> and today I want to talk to you guys about something uh, that I believe is very important to, to, to keep in mind. Okay, so I talk about mindset, keeping the right mindset and whatnot, and all these all these things surrounding this topic. What I want to touch on today is what are you doing? Okay, what are you doing? What steps are you taking to keep the right mindset? Now, remember, the reason why I'm saying this is because if you're an artist, no one is holding you accountable. You're doing that on your own. If you're an artist... No one is holding you accountable. I will repeat that. You're doing that on your own unless you have someone, a group of people that are that are that are pulling, that are pulling you and you're and you're pulling them as well, right? If you have a group of people, some co-ops do that. It, you know, it depends. Some places tend to be more uh where there's too many cooks, right? Too many cooks in the kitchen, it tends to get muddy many times. But you're not in a in a, an environment where Something is expected of you. Unless you do that. Unless you do that for yourself, right? Unless you you uh, create that. I don't know. You create those rules or whatever, right? Those those goals. And you're like, okay, well, today I'm doing this. This is expected of me. Uh, for example, I work with my spouse. I work with my wife. And, and we hold each other accountable to what is expected. And when one of us is not meeting it, the other one's reminding us, right? Kind of like, it's not like you need reminder, but you need you need to take certain steps. It's not necessarily a reminder like, oh, I'm going to uh, this. Thank you so much for the hearts. I appreciate that. It's not like it's not like the person needs a like a memo, like, oh, please, you know, stay on board. It's not necessarily that. It's that. It's that. So many things can happen throughout your day. But you do need reminders, but it's not so it's not so much because you forget, it's because you keep forgetting every step of the way. I don't know if I make any sense. Like, like your day is going by and then all these little things are happening. You have to keep you have to you have to keep up with orders, you have to pick up the kids from school, you have to, you know, all these little things show up in different ways. They manifest themselves as life, right? In different ways. So in a way you get you forget about the main goal. And you forget about the daily tasks, right? So it could be, it could get, it could get heavy for many people, right? I'm, I'm, I'm sure I know because it's happened to me where you have your long-term goals, for example, for me, okay, I'm going to give you an example. I want to be able to have a full uh, group of artists and designers and people that help me uh, get my work out into the marketplace, Right? Uh, marketers and salespeople and this and that. So I want a, a full-grown business. It's unheard of many times from artists, uh, but there are artists that have done it. Uh, many people don't understand this, but Picasso was one of them. Uh, they, where, where they had people not necessarily helping them create in the studio, but helping them create content, helping them create, uh, get into the marketplace, videos, this, that. And then in his time, it was photography. It was you know. So I want to have that. That's my, my, my long term. I want to be able to create a very successful art business, right? My short term is, okay, what am I doing today, right? It's like that's not short term, but it's the immediate, right? What am I doing today that it's going, that it's gearing me over there, that it's pointing there? What, what steps can I take today? What's my to-do list, in other words, right? So many times what happens with artists is that we get overwhelmed. We're like, oh, okay, I want to get there. It, le it looks so far-fetched. And then you have what you have to do today, and it feels like, how could I ever possibly get it done? Oh, my goodness. And then you get rounded in your own thoughts. 
And so what steps do you take to keep that right mindset, that thing? I found for me, what helps, as I've talked to you guys before in, in, in different videos, what helps is, is keeping touchstones, right? Things that remind me, that, that bring me back. I keep posters around my studio that bring me back, right? Where I, where I create artwork. I keep words, certain words that I, that I write down. And, 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 and they're big words. Right now I'm doing posters also, like bigger posters, that, that of quotes. Because I usually kept quotes in, in small pieces of paper on the wall. And I'm like, no, they need to be big. So that I have to constantly... It's a washing. It's a cleansing. Right? You read the quote and you're like, oh, okay, that's what I'm doing. But aside from that, aside from all these, uh, I guess, law of attraction type of things, you know, that you touch and you remind yourself of uh, poster boards or whatever. Aside from that... One of the things that has helped me keep my mindset right is that regardless of what, how you're feeling, what you're going through, if you just get started, right? If you just get started, it all sorts out by itself. Like it all, see the, 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 the thing is that, I forgot who said this. It was, uh, I don't know, someone was doing research on this. But the thing is that our mind will do everything Everything to try to protect us, right? That's the that's really what it's there for. It's a tool, right? It helps us get things, you know, language and other things. And it's also to protect us. So in order to protect us, it creates this perceived that uh, whatever looks like a like like something could go wrong, it blows it out of proportion. So in order to to you, you can't even understand that, right? As you're going through it, you're like, oh my god, how am I going to how is this going to happen? How am I gonna get this artwork to that gallery? And it blows it out of proportion. They're gonna kick me out, they're gonna say no, they're blah blah blah, the work doesn't fit there, and on and on and on and on, whatever your deal is, right? So it blows it out of proportion. But if you just take that one step and then the next step, and then the next step, it just it's all it has to do is just like that first step. That's all you have to do. So one of the things that keeps me grounded, keeps me, uh, one of the things that I do to keep uh, uh, the right mindset is, dude, you just got to keep moving. Now this, now I see it from different people. P different people say this. Now It's one of those things that as you learn, you start seeing it around, right? And I saw this quote by, by Albert Einstein where he said, uh, life is like a bicycle. In order to keep the balance, you got to keep moving forward. Like you got to keep moving, moving forward, mo moving. Life is like a bicycle. In order to keep balance, right, you got to keep moving. How interesting is that? I thought it was, it was the most interesting thing. Uh, it, it spoke really, it spoke a lot to me. Because many times when we're like, oh man, I got to keep balance. We think about rest and, and you know, meditation. And, and that's, that's all great. I think that's great. But in order to keep things happening for you, to keep a good balance in your life, you have to keep moving. You know, in order to, oh, I got to pay my bills. I got to do that. I got to do this. Okay, well, you keep moving. The funny thing is that it just starts, it's like magic. Because see, uh, action and thought don't go together. I don't think they go together. I think that they're separate. They, they're, they're not supposed to go together. Actually, thought prevents action from happening. So the more you think about something, the more you start, you stagnate. And then you can't move forward. So if you just get yourself to start doing things, you know, just doing it. And, you, and, and if you're desperate, if you're like, man, I got to get it done. And you start moving fast. You, you're, you haven't let go of thought yet. You're still in thought. And you think that, that by trying to be super fast and desperate and whatnot, it's going to somehow be better for you. Now, there's speed in getting things done. That's not the speed I'm talking about. When you're desperate, you're not, you don't even have speed. You're just stumbling and, and, and forcing yourself and getting upset and whatever, right? But when you have speed, it's because, it's because you're, you're flowing with it. You're flowing with it. You're, you're, you're just riding the wave. And that speed comes from, from accepting Whatever is happening in your in your in your in your environment right now, you're just taking that one step. I believe that that's where the speed comes from. You're just taking that one step. You're like, oh, okay. You just keep it going. You know, you take that one step. You're like, oh, I gotta call that that gallery. I gotta I gotta send those paintings. I gotta make this painting, this commission, whatnot, whatever you 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 have to do. 
you take that step right now. You just take that one step. And I believe this is uh, experiential for me. If you just take that one step, like the Nike says, like Nike ad says, just do it. If you just take that one step, the next step will be shown to you. And then the next one will be shown to you. And then the next, and, and you know, and then all, like everything's just going to make sense. The problem is that nothing makes sense when you're not taking the steps. You're in, you're in perception only. So you're in this, in this mental, you know, thing. And your days go out like that. If you, if you're not, if you're not, if you're not taking steps, if you're not taking that one step and the next step and, you know, just, it's, it's so, sometimes it's so hard to explain because it's so simple, but we make it so complicated. You know, as, as, as artists, I think, especially, let me take a sip of my Starbucks. Mm. We make it so complicated because we are in creation and whatever we are creating is attached to us. There's an attachment to it. So it's not like you, you're a dealer, an art dealer. You go and buy paintings or artwork and then you try to sell it. You're, you don't have that attachment. It's not as, it's not as, 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 it's not as strong as the attachment when you create something. So when you create something, I believe that if you're not careful, if it's unchecked, there's ego involved. There's, there's this, this attachment, right? This mental attachment. The ego is only mental. So it's this mental attachment. My work, how am I going to be perceived? What are people going to think about me? Am I doing the right thing? Is that the right frame? Is that the right photograph? Is that the right platform to sell my work? Am I going to be perceived cheap? Am I going to be perceived expensive? And on and on and on. You name whatever you want to put in there, whatever your struggles are. The thing is that that's all mind stuff. And and if if we want to keep sanity, as, as Albert Einstein said, if you want to keep balance, I think that that's what it means. You got to keep moving. It's like a bicycle. You just got to keep moving. And you can't move desperate because you're still in mind you have to just move just the next step okay well i'm gonna i'm gonna clean my studio okay what's the next thing all of a sudden you start becoming inspired like all everything see the thing is because you forget this is what i'm trying to get to you keep forgetting what you're supposed to do it's like you're going it's like it's like you're driving right let's say hopefully not right but it's like you're driving and then you see light and then you're like, oh, and then, oh, okay, gotta, I got to drive again. And then you see something else and, oh, there's a sign over there. And then you, you know, it's, but this, this happens to us on our daily life. And many people are like, oh, I'm very focused. I know what I'm doing, blah, blah, blah. If you haven't blown up, if you haven't blown up, if you haven't gotten to those, to those nasty, <laughs> nasty goals that you want, <laughs> call them nasty, those strong goals that you want, you, you haven't been that focused. Don't kid yourself. I used to think that. I used to be like, oh, man, I'm so focused. People don't get it. Like, I'm so focused. You know, I what I want, what I need is more time. Then you're not focused. You're you're complaining about something. You're not focused. What I need is more, more money so that I can buy more ads. You're not focused. That's not true. What I need is more art materials. What I need is help in the studio. It's not true. These are all, these are all just negativities. You know, neg neg negative, negative, uh, uh, Procrast ways to procrastinate, right? You're not really focused. When you're focused, you will start seeing because the fruits are going to start showing up. When you're focused on your craft, on your artwork, on your photography, whatever you do, even if you're a realtor, when you're focused, when you're dead set focused, you start taking steps, even if they're slow steps. This is one of the things that I loved about Warhol. Andy Warhol said, "Whatever, whether you go fast or slow, if you keep moving, you will get there. And I think that he meant the same thing that Albert Einstein was talking about. Look, it's like a bicycle. You just got to keep moving. You got to keep moving. The thing is that many of us, things don't work for us. And I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about something personal here. I'm like, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some abs, right? Because I'm like, I want to get buff. I'll go and I'll, and I'll exercise, I don't know, for <laughs> like two days, right? I'll do like 30-minute exercise <laughs> for two days. And then the third day, I'm like... Oh man, yeah, no, it's really, I'm really tired today. I did so much. I was creating artwork and this and that, All right? The procrastination. And then the next day it's like, well, you know, I didn't do it yesterday. I'll start tomorrow. And then I'll wait a week and they'll be like, man, no, this, this time around, this time around, I'm going to go and I'm going to, I have to get healthier and, you know, so I'll get on, on the elliptical or whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll do some, some exercise, some cardio. I'll be like, yeah, that's perfect. And then I remind myself again, man. 
Why aren't you doing this every day? Because you forget. It's not like you forget. Again, it's not like you forget in a in a in a like like oh I know what to do. No, you 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 get out of focus is what I'm trying to say. You forget the intention. It's not that you forget the thing. Like like. That's why people are so hard on themselves. When we create artwork, you know, if you're an artist, you're like, man, I wish I would be selling my artwork. I wish I would. I mean, I, I could talk to galleries. Why don't I do it? And then and then you're hard on yourself. It's not that you forget or that you don't want to do it. You do want to. What you are out of focus, you're out of focus of your intention. And only when you do, you get reminded of that intention. When I go and I exercise, I'm like, oh, man, I got reminded of why this is important. All of a sudden, I'm breathing better. There's all this oxygen in my body. All of a sudden, I don't want to drink as much coffee or I don't want to drink, you know, like, like sugary beverages. I'm like, I need more water because this feels good. So I get reminded of the purpose. So anyways, guys, I don't want to make this too long, but, but I hope that you guys uh, get some value out of this. Look, what are you doing? What are you doing daily? To keep that mindset going. One of the things. If not the the main thing that works for me. Is to just do it. Whether I want to or not. If I just do it. Then the mindset comes to me. It's, it's not. I feel like it's. it's it, it happens both ways. Sometimes the mindset is right. And then you go do things. But I think that especially. For me. Anyways. I found. Just go do it. And then the mindset will come to you. Like Picasso said, you know, I'm, I'm not always inspired or something like that. He said, what, what did he say about inspiration? I believe in inspiration, but it has to find you working. It's another one of those ways, like you have to keep moving to find the balance, to find your purpose, to find that, that the, the, to remind yourself, why am I doing this again? Oh, I got it. I remember why I'm doing this again. I showed up. I created a painting, you know. I'm going to create another one or I'm going to share it on, on Facebook or I'm going to whatever you do. Right. I'm going to take the photograph now. Now I'm going to write an article and I'm going to talk to people and I'm going to collaborate. And, and then you start getting excited because you remembered. This is what I'm trying to, to, to share with you guys. It is, it's, it's hard to catch. It's very hard to catch because it's not mind. It's not mind based. You have to remember through doing. You remember through doing. You cannot remember through thinking. Because if you try to remember to think through thinking, well, I'm like, if you try to remember through thinking, it's very limited because experience is not there. You see, it's a memory. It's like, oh, yeah, I remember why I didn't want to do that. I don't want to do that because it's, no, last time I tried to do that, it was because you're stuck in your mind. But if you just start moving, you're like, no, hold on, let me, let me, let me start drawing something right now. And then all of a sudden you get excited. The inspiration comes in. Why? Because because there's a different it's a different type of remembering you get focus it's a it's a, the enthusiasm is born and it reminds you this is why you're doing this dude this is why you want to create artwork this is why you want to show your work in a gallery this is why you wanted to become a full-time artist or or an artist you know whatever this is the reason why but it's only in the doing it's the doing that you know it's 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 very it's very spiritual for me. I don't know for other people, but for me, it's very spiritual. I, I find it in in the in the in the task itself. I find it in the task itself. Every time I get lost, you know, you can't you can't do desperate. You have to you have to just do. You can't do desperate. You can be like oh a frantic because then you're still stuck in your mind and all you're doing is just hitting walls, hitting walls, and you feel like you're in a hamster wheel. And this has happened to me over and over. But you have to just show up and do as if as if nothing is wrong, you know, as if everything is fine. You you had an argument with someone. Things are not going the right way. OK. All right. OK. And you start doing you start doing whatever you do. And then you get reminded again. So. I want to I, I want to hammer this 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 I want to I want to hammer this horse. <laughs> I want to kill this horse. <laughs> you guys don't know. I don't know if you if you know. Uh, those of you listening, how important this is, how how this is the single most important thing in your career. It's not how clever you are. It's not how smart you are. It's not how great you paint. It's not how how uh, I don't know the, the strategies and the schemes and the tactics that, you know, to sell artwork or to share your work on, on Instagram or. Yeah, all those things, all those things are cool. But even if you get them, if if if, if you're shitting it right, you know, if your mind is not it's not on point. 
it's 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 like not having it. I've been there. Like I I made sales and this and that. But if your mind is not there, it's like you can't even you can't even grasp it. You can't even touch it because it feels it it you're not there. You know you're somewhere else. You're not there. You're trying to get to the next thing, and you're trying to get to the next thing, and and things don't unfold for you in a clear way. And I believe that things unfold for you in a clear way when you just do your tasks. When you just, you know, you, you, you take one task at a time and it shows you how to do the next one. It's like, oh, okay. It, it unfolds for you. It starts unfolding. That's when people are like, oh, listen to your gut. Yeah, because you just show up and you just start doing the work. And then and then it, it tells you, oh, okay, right, right turn, you know, left turn now. It, it shows you. One task will show you the next one. That's the beauty of it. But no one talks about this. I have no idea why. Just the gurus out there on, online and whatnot. But... I, don't, I never hear artists talking about this. Look, if you want excellence in your work, if you want to create work in this in this level that that is going to be successful for you, whatever that is, right? Whether it's creating artwork, marketing it, selling it, whatever it is, whatever your your gig is, it it can only be shown to you through doing. It cannot be shown to you through thinking about it. If you start thinking about it, it's going to become so overwhelming. That you're going to be like, you're not even going to want to take a step. You're going to be like, nope. But if you don't think about it, you know, let's say you put your intention, you're like, yes, I want to do this. And then you remove the thought and then you just take the first step. The first step holds the key. This is this is pure gold, guys. When I started figuring this out, it, it started changing my life. The first step holds the key to the second one. And the second step holds the key to the third one. You cannot move to, I know it sounds so redundant and ridiculous, but you cannot move to the second step unless you took the first one. And this is what this is why many of us get stuck in our mind and, and can never can never go beyond creating artwork, can never go beyond showing in the little places and the little cafe here and there, can never really create massive success for us because we are hoping that somehow we're gonna get clever about it and it's going to happen for us. But only the steps the, the next step shows the key. It has the key for the next one. It it shows you the way. And and, and you can only find out by taking that step. I'll leave you guys with that. I hope I brought any value to it. someone out there. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm the world's greatest living artist. Take care, guys. Adios. Oh, before I before I sign out, uh, on Tuesday, tomorrow, we have Marketing Tuesday, okay, at noon. Tuesday is Marketing. Wednesday, I have an art demo at noon. Everything's at noon, uh, Arizona time. On Thursday, I have Cafecito with my wife. My wife and I uh, drink some lattes here. Mmm. And we talk about what the, the, the pros and cons of working with your partnership and, and most the, the, the pros, but but what looks like con and like cons. Because <laughs> a lot of people say don't work with your partner and we find it very rewarding to work to work together. So we talk about that. Uh, and then on Fridays, I do a takeaway Friday where I talk to you guys about everything that I learned throughout the week. And what's my what are my takeaways? You know, good things, bad things, whatever. So thank you so much, guys. I hope you enjoy this. Adios.